Hi, and welcome to the VR Shops review of the Freefly VR. Its current price is around 49 quid, which works out to about $63, give or take a few cents and pence either side of that. And we're going to take a look and find out if it's worth buying. As always, this is just a quick overlook review. For more detailed information like weight, lens size, FMV, where you really look like a fly while wearing it, or where you see through the eyes of a fly, things like that, please do visit the website link in the description below. And by doing that, you're also going to help to keep these videos ads free. Okay, let's get on with it. It's from the box. Uh, quite a boring looking box, actually. But that's what it come in. I'm going to get into it. How do we get into it? Uh, <laughs> still doing it? No, no, it is there, it is there. <laughs> I can't get into it. There. Let's pull that apart. There. All right, okay. We've got a box inside a box. Okay, let's remove that. All right. So uh, this is like a material case does your phone fit test it here it must be longer than the ruler oh right uh it must be longer than the ruler oh oh dear so well it is longer not many <laughs> all right well we'll get all the measurements for that anyway uh test your uh screen size the maximum what else is there here uh, scan the QR code to calibrate your smartphone, which is pretty nice. Uh, and contents underneath. Uh, free 5 VR, uh, guide VR, lens, cloth, things like that. Ah, uh, let's just get into it. Made, designed in the UK, manufactured in China from Protus VR Labs. Love it. Okay, let's, uh, how do we get into it? It's like. The zips like attached to it. How does, how does that work then? Uh, right, just after. <laughs> Get that off. So that's the outer sleeve. That's really nice. Look at that. Nice logo on there. Really nice. Nice material box. Let's unzip it. It's exciting. <laughs> Wow, so that's what's in it. Okay, what have we got here? Our top VR experiences. Let's have a let's have a quick note. Our top VR experiences, QR codes, downloading apps. Uh, it's got a QR code for Google Cardboard and the rest is in a different language. Nice, at least it's got that. Um free fly instructions and uh instructions for the little remote so you get that and that's all different languages and we get a little tiny uh remote which i think we uh reviewed under a different name the other day but it's still nice uh yeah it's got the same sort of buttons uh, i'll put the link for the review in uh in the description let's get the headset out uh, oh, what else have we got? Hang on. <laughs> like a treasure trove of goodies. Uh, nice QR code. Is it, uh, a QR code. Nice. Oh, uh, microfiber card. Microfiber card. Unbranded. Unbranded. But still. Nice. That's some really, you know, that's some nice padding in there. And a controller. Always a little nice uh, thing. And, uh, I think I'm going to leave that out. Because this does not look like an easy headset to understand at all okay uh right how to right don't know okay so uh this is the uh main headset uh, oh right it's, it's weird okay don't quite know what's going on here at first um feeling it actually Despite its uh, rather complex looking uh, front bit, it's actually all right. It's good weight distribution. Doesn't feel um, too bad at all. 
not too bad at all. Obviously, I'll get into it. Uh, head strap, let's deal with that. It's uh, three point, adjustable, nice and branded, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, yep, and that's all adjustable and elasticated, obviously. Let's get into that. Try and keep it in the centre for you, sorry. Uh, nice uh, sort of, let's move you back, leather, fake leather, obviously, face padding. Nice size lenses, actually, pretty good indeed. Uh, quite a deep nose room, not, can't have a fat nose with it, but you can have a long nose, which is all right, actually. It's a bit plasticky in there, but we'll check uh, comfort levels uh, when we finally get around to wearing it. Uh, let's check for, I don't think you're going to get glasses in there at all. It does look pretty, yeah, no, it's no with glasses. But hopefully the lenses are pretty good and it will uh, counteract anything like that. Uh, you got no screen touch button, but you do have a controller in the box. I don't know if everyone's will come with a controller, but this one did and this is the one we're reviewing. Uh, access to power, yeah, you've got, I don't know, you got all access to power uh, leads and things like that uh, all year round, so it doesn't matter, shouldn't matter where your leads and that are, looks like there's lots of room to uh, get in there, which is pretty nice. Um, in terms of overall design quality, it's got like a really cheap plasticky looking body. But everything else looks really well made. You know, it doesn't, it looks like a, a pretty complex phone holding system. We're going to get into that when we start testing it. But in, in terms of the quality of everything, apart from the body, everything's pretty spectacular. You know, the stitching's fine, headstyle looks great, and the lenses look nice. So, yeah all based around a cheaper looking body but still we're going to have to um i have no idea what's going on with the phone loading system so we're going to have to take a break and uh get mm -hmm. into how it looks and what we can get in there and things like that so join us back here when we've done some testing and discovered just how good it is okay hi uh welcome back we've done some uh nice testing um the controller worked fine uh, like i said we've already uh, tested this type of controller and i'll put the link for that uh review below getting on with the headset uh finally <laughs> finally worked it out it's not uh, the easiest of um headsets to understand but luckily uh this the cardboard sleeve that was around there does have uh pretty clear instructions on on everything what to do and we're going to go through that what it does now okay so a bit confusing at start at first because this is a headset and you know you would wear it like that but unlike well every other headset as far as i can remember i don't think there's been one this headset opens upwards not downwards which is odd but that's what it does so it opens downwards and inside you're presented with a nice felt uh, cloth in here uh, also going along all felt cloth a uh, felt sort of a uh, cloth material whatever you want to call it going along so everything's nice and protected and uh, you shouldn't get too much you know there's nothing to scratch the phone that's what I'm trying to get to uh, the complex uh, sort of system uh, is actually um, pretty cool and I'm pretty chuffed with it actually because how many times have we moaned here about the pinch system and the tray system and the VR box, things like that, they're all bleeding annoying, okay, they are, and particularly the pinch one, it oh, aggravates me to hell and back. This system is much, much simpler. So, the thing is, with, particularly with pinch systems, when you've got um, a pinch phone lock, 
when you've got a foam like a, a six edge, it can damage the side, you know, and it's got a mirrored back the edge. This is, you know, a six, seven hundred pound foam that you don't want to be damaged. So the print system for this type of phone is just not going to work. But with this system, it does. But fitting it in, oh no, it doesn't fit. Well, that's when you close it up and you press the button just there and you press it. There we go. And the spring rotor, you can uh, adjust it the size when you round the other way. By pressing it once, we'll uh, make it large, where well, the largest size that there is. And then at that point, you put your phone in and you just adjust these uh, to go down. Little screw uh, things, you can have them, you know, set up to your perfect phone set. And then you just literally uh, click it in, locked in, and that's go one more click just to lock that in. And that is already, because of our click system, already perfectly centered, which is beautiful. You know, I don't have to worry. It, you know, if you got uh, these two already set up to, to safely secure the phone, you could just press the button underneath and just, there we go. Boom, click, in, and it's done. Obviously, uh, you got to load your wraps up before and then click it in. And I, I really, really like that. Really like that. Earlier on, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go through it today because uh, um, it's difficult, quite frankly. But hang on, I managed to get an Xperia Z Ultra in there. You take the phone out and maximize it to the the widest it can be, and then by unscrewing uh, these, you can simply uh, slot it in there. It doesn't quite fit in there normally, but you only need to unscrew two of them. And believe it or not, you can get one of these in. Now it's a bit impractical, but oddly it <laughs> it really does fit, which is quite a feat indeed really. I mean I'm sure it, like it would go in if uh, if you tidied up at the sides. I don't know how you could get it in there like that. But take them off and you got yourself something that even works with that which is pretty impressive. And overall I'm really impressed with this phone locking system. I think it's very clever uh, very safe for the phone and it secures it in there nice and tightly which is you know it's what you need and I really like that I think that's one of the uh, best phone locking systems that uh, we probably ever reviewed quite frankly there's lots of room to get your um, your earphones and things outside your phone that's not going to get scratched in terms of a uh, phone loading mechanism, it's the, the best that I've seen. It really is. Why would you buy this headset? Um, you buy this headset for a couple of reasons. One of the main ones is about quality of immersion. And it really is very uh, immersive when you put it on. It's nice and soft, provided you don't need the adjustable pupil and focus distance you'll be all right with it and the other thing is if you always worry about um, your phone getting scratched like I've said about the six edge and that you don't want uh, a hundred pound plus phone <laughs> getting damaged or scratched or broke you know I, for other people they might say more but I think any more than a hundred pound phone you're going to look after it and you're going to take care of it and many of the other headsets with the gripping mechanism, the gripping, <laughs> gripping mechanism are, you know, they're just not good for it long term. And this is perfect for it. I think that pretty much covers it. The rest of the information is going to be on the website. And as always, if you've got any questions that you want to know about it, 
please do let us know and we're happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and please do remember to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe box in the corner. And please do remember to sign up to our weekly newsletter where we're going to give away this headset and many more headsets each and every week. And the link to do that is also in the details box below. But the thanks goes to our star of the show which is the Free Fly VR which is a, well, it's pretty fly. Thank you.